from Burlington. I'm 15. And. How do you know how to say it? My horse's name is. Anders. Anders Wichter L. <laughs> I'm from Miami, Florida. My name is Kaylee Tomeo. I'm 19. My horse is Fidalgo Van Het Lelyha. And I'm from Wellington, Florida. My name is Lacey Gilbertson. I'm 21. And my horse is Record de Pobel. And I'm from Chicago, Illinois. My name is Tom Foley. I'm 18 years of age <coughs> and I'm from County Clare in Ireland. Oh, and my horse is so from where, sorry? County Clare in Ireland. Yep. And uh, my yeah. horse is with Free. She's owned by Sweden. <laughs> Just speak about the experience of having a team competition in this series and what it does for you guys. Um, the team was cool because we all ride together, so that was exciting and we were really supportive of each other. And I was excited for this. It's different because it's not just yourself that you're counting on. You have to count on everyone you're riding with. And there's pressure on each of one of us to do better for each other. And it was really fun. Is this the first, or what's your experience with the under 25 series in the past? Is, have any of you not done it before? I didn't do it last year, but I did the two years before that. Okay. What about the rest? I haven't done it before. You haven't done it? This is my first year doing it. For the ones that was first year, what was your reaction to kind of operating in this team environment and, and doing some of the other classes this year? Well, I thought it was like really cool to show in the spring because we don't really get to do it that often. And like under the lights is fun also. And I've never been on a team where I kind of know everyone. And like Kaylee said, we all ride together, so it was a fun experience. I liked the team event because obviously we all wanted each other to do well being in the same barn, but it was fun for like all of us being together, like all of us with the same thing kind of. I think it was great that it was on here because you're always showing over in the web and then it's a different place, good for the horses, and it's great that we're all right in the same barn, you know, get to compete on the one team, it's great. What kind of pressure were you feeling jumping off for the rest of your team? Um, it was a lot of pressure, Keep but I honestly pace. think it made me do better that other people were counting on me and it made it really exciting like no matter how we did we would still have gotten great results being second but it was really exciting just going clear and winning talk a little bit about your horse and why he he was good in that environment my horse is amazing and thanks to Shane Sweetnam who found him and I actually didn't ride my best in the jump off but he was amazing and he pulled through for me and it was really exciting just landing off the first, last jump and realizing we won. And it was pretty much all him that did it, which was really exciting. <laughs> what else do you do with him? I do the high amateur jumpers. I got him this summer in June, and he's been great every single show we've done. What's he like to ride? He is easy. He gets a little strong going around the ring, but I like it. He kind of just takes me around. And he knows his job, he knows what he's doing, and he's really good at it. Um, showing over here, it's different. It's a different ring, different grounds. It looks different, it feels different, it's new to the horses, and it's really exciting because you're going somewhere else. And It's still close, but the atmosphere is really different, and I think it makes it a little more exciting, and it changes everything up. And I like it over here a lot. I love this ring because it's smaller, and there's less room for my horse to run away with me in. <laughs> So I kind of get to like bounce them off the walls, which helped me today. <laughs> this is my favorite ring. <laughs> this class today was really long. How did you manage your energy and stress with 62 people going twice? Um, I stayed pretty excited throughout the whole thing because I went in the beginning, but then throughout the whole class, my teammates were going, and a lot of my other my, my other friends were in it too. So I was like wanted a lot of people to do well, and. It was really long, but it didn't feel like it was going by too long because there was a lot of, like, we were anxious, waiting to see how everyone was going to do, waiting for the jump off. It was just like, you didn't know what was going to happen, so it went by pretty fast. It was a big excitement. Tommy, you went last and kept your team clear. Can you talk a little bit about your horse and, and your reaction landing off that last jump and staying clean? It was, it was good to go last. I think the pressure makes you try a little bit harder. And it was good, the horse tried really hard really fought to the end, it's a good horse. Shane and Aaron one that is always his nice horses, so <clears throat> no, it was good, and she really was trying for me, so 
it's kind of more hurts than me there to be honest. <laughs> and she's for sale too, so just. <laughs> 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 it's too bad. It's too bad. It's too bad. It's too bad. It's too bad.